more? What's up everybody welcome back to the little orchard farm we're so glad to have you along for the ride as today we start something completely brand new uh, we're going to be installing pecs we're going to be getting into something that again as i've said time and time again i've never done and so we're going to be running pecs we're going to be putting in a uh, water pressure regulator uh, into uh, into our inline um, uh, and then measuring the, uh, we're going to be measuring the, uh, the water pressure. But the first thing that we're going to work on is this bad boy right here. So this is a, ugh, almost was tragic. Um, <laughs> so this is a, this is a, a water pressure regulator and this thing is, is it set for 15 to 75 psi and so i think it's set at 50 out of the factory it's set at 50. uh and so um and so our our task here is going to be to get this set in line for our inbound water and so we'll put this in because i think we're getting too much pressure or it's at least fluctuating and having that kind of pressure fluctuation could blow out our um, our, our seals and whatnot in our um, you know sinks, uh, you know our faucets and our shower and stuff like that. So we don't want that to happen. It's a lot to get done. A lot of new things. So it's probably going to be a really slow go, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I've actually been kind of nervous about this weekend because I knew we were going to be doing. Let's do this.
right, so I think I've got it tight enough to glue the next piece in. And so, let me go get the next piece. Should be a pretty small piece, actually. Huh. All right. We're going to move on to uh, drilling the holes in the floor where we're going to have the water line come up uh, where we want our uh, sinks, lavatories, and I think that's the only, I think it's the only places where the water line has to actually come through the floor where we've got to run it through the floor. Um, the two sinks and the, and the entry point for the hot water heater. So we're going to drill those now. And let's get to running picks. All right, so what I've done is I've just started, right? So I've just started by running hot and cold water down to the bottom. So this is the cold water coming up, will be coming up to the hot water uh, heater, tankless water heater. Coming back down will be the hot water. Now I've got to, I've got to create a couple of T's here and run those over to the washing machine which is going to be right here i got to measure it up 36 inches mount the box and then i'll tee off of these lines and bring them across so i've got to cut a couple of more holes but um and then i'll do the same thing over for the for the washing machine excuse me for the refrigerator um, and I'll get both the hot waters run to the corner. We're going to hang this box. And then we'll get down below, tie this in, bring the hot and cold waters back to it. Oh, yeah. We got this. We got this. We got this.
All right, so we got, we got the hot and cold run from the source, hot water heater, the kitchen. We got to insert the T's, but we got the pipe run from the, from the uh, uh, hot water heater source or from the split there at the main, all the way over to where Karen's at, which is the bathroom. So we have water to the bathroom. We'll just have to get it all teed up and everything. And we're gonna do that tomorrow. Cause it's been a long day. We've knocked it out. Whoo! All right, back the next morning. Uh, we are getting started early uh, because it is hot. It's toasty. It's only gonna get warmer. Humidity's whew, crazy. A few things that uh, we we ran into the uh, ran into town early this morning. Picked up a few extra pieces that we knew we were missing, and of course, I I know I missed some other stuff. It, as I'm sitting here looking, we have no half inch red pieces of pipe. We only have blue. And we got a slew of that. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do with all that. That's a lot of bloop. Uh, we've got to run. We got to get up under the house and run the uh, uh, run the uh, uh, the water line for the refrigerator uh, for the ice box, and we'll do that. And I got the ice box over here. I can go ahead and set it in place, very similarly to what I did with the washing machine box. So I got that in place. All right, so we're going, to we're going to get out of the house, finish up the stuff under the house first this morning while it's still nice and cool, and then um, and then we'll get back at it. I first need to drill this hole right here so I know where we're running to, and I'll do that real quick, and then we're going to, we're going to knock it out. Is parting. All right, so that's gonna do it. That's gonna wrap it up for today. 
Uh, this weekend we did um, as much pecs as we could get done. I made some mistakes. Uh, I know what those are. We're gonna have to do a little correction. Uh, and then I got some questions to ask regarding this area over here uh, along the bathroom uh, bathroom wall. I'm wrestling with getting the sinks, uh, the lavatories uh, um, stubbed up. And so I got to figure that out. And so that'll be, uh, that'll be for next time. We got the uh, refrigerator stubbed, I think correctly. Um, the washing machine box I've got up. I've just got to run a couple of stubs over to it. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, and then the one place that I made the mistake, uh, essentially was here in the kitchen. And so I've got these, I've got these that are coming out of the floor and I think I've pushed them way too far forward. They need to be a bunch more tucked away into the corner. And so I'm going to redo that the next time. I'll pull those out. And to make it to where it's easier to, what we found was, was that the half inch stuff is a lot easier to maneuver than the three quarter inch. Three quarter inch is so much stiffer. And so we'll take the half inch. We will convert them under the floor. And then that way it'll make it much easier to run them up into the corner. Uh, so... That was, uh, that was an all weekend kind of a gig, just doing the pecs. Uh, Karen did get the rest of the doors almost all completed. There's one door that she did not do, and it's because I still have to have work on, uh, have some work on it to do. But to be quite honest with you, it is humid, it is hot, and we're exhausted. I thought we've done really well. Uh, you know, the mental exhaustion of not knowing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it, it takes its toll and so we're going to uh we're going to call it a day and uh next weekend is fourth of july weekend we may take we may take and do a little a little different video maybe not on the cabin bill we may be uh doing some family time uh but uh we'll see we'll see what we got going on if not I do know next week, at least one day next week, my hopes is to be out here. I want to bring the plumber, uh, Jason, out and have Jason look over things and just kind of give me some hints because not only, you know, not only does the PEX, it, it kind of matters how you put the PEX in because the PEX has to work hand in hand with the drains. And I got one right there in the bathroom that I'm really concerned about. Not sure how it's going to work. So we're going to, we're going to um, we're going to get him out here and get some uh, get some advice. Anyway, that's going to do it for us, guys. You guys have a wonderful week, and uh, man, be safe, be blessed, and until we see you the next time, we will see ya.